Hello my dolls and welcome to another cello tips and tricks on the cello doll YouTube channel. This week is going to be part two of your intonation exercise for octaves, specifically for beginners who are most comfortable in first position. So since this is your second part, we're gonna up the ante a little bit, add some sharps and flats and some extensions in our first position. And these are extensions that are going to be using a lower first finger and a high fourth finger. So if you aren't familiar with that yet, I recommend checking out part one and I will be sure to include that here. So before we get to some of my tips and the exercise, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like, and to subscribe to the Cello Doll YouTube channel. Be sure to also hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, I am on Patreon if you wanna go above and beyond to support Cello Doll and you'll be able to find the link for that in the description below. So if you saw part one, our exercise followed the pattern of playing a lower pitch, for example, C, and then playing the next higher C and listening to the tuning until those notes matched. We're gonna follow that same format for this video. We're just gonna add some more sharps and flats and those extensions I mentioned earlier. So quick tip on extensions, it is super helpful to know where in the hand the actual extension and space is happening. For the first finger, it's a little more self-explanatory. The gap is happening between two and one. If we wanna reach back with first finger, that's where the space is. Make sure you reach back with a straight finger, almost like you're pointing at your ear. You're gonna get a lot more reach if you're straight. Sometimes we wanna reach and curl and we're getting rid of a whole knuckles worth of length. So reach back with a straight finger. And for the fourth finger, if I were to do a high fourth finger, look at that, same space between one and two. So sometimes I think when we see X4 or extend four, we think the fourth finger has to make the reach and it's a pinky. Give your pinky a break. It's so short it can't make that reach. So this is where the reach is happening. Even though it says X4, it's this shape again, but the fourth finger is where the note is sounding. So if you focus on having this shape when you do your extension, that's really gonna help you. So if you're gonna be playing along with me, this is the time where you need your cello, or if you're watching, take note of how I do this exercise. So just like part one, we're gonna start with our open C string. And then, instead of going to D, we're gonna go to C sharp. Now instead of first finger, we're gonna do extend first finger. C sharp. High C sharp. D. confusing think about the bass note we are going to be doing open low one regular one two three four high four repeat zero low one regular one two three four high four repeat I feel like I'm in a workout video right seriously exercises with the child that should be a workout. We are covering all the fingers, all the extension possibilities, and this is part two. So get ready, and here is our exercise. I'll be here to talk you through throughout the way. Low one. Try it again. Now high four. 
Stay open. Our second finger is right on that F sharp. Now open G. There it is. That was too sharp. That was too high. Extend. Low one. High four. Do a little pivot. This is the hardest reach. to the bass or lower note and relating it to the top. So does the top match the bottom? Now we're going to flip that. We're going to start with the top note and see if we can get the bass to match. Exception, if you're playing an open string, you can't change an open string. So we really got to gauge to our open string. But now let's start from the top and try to match on the bottom. Starting with E flat. Let's do it. Let's do it. High four, low one. Remember, part one, we play double stops. You can still do that. Now here, three has to become two. Replaced with two. Still 
去了。I can't wait to see how this goes for you when you try it out on your own celli. Let me know in the comments below, especially if you have any questions about the exercise. I will reply when I can and so happy to help you in your cello learning journey. So I hope this exercise and ear training experience is helping you to hear your octaves better and to think of more ways to check it when you're practicing. Once again, my name is The Cello Doll, and in addition to YouTube, you can find me on Facebook as well as Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Great luck in your practicing, and we'll see you next time for another video. Bye!